right here with a pool on and I want to weld the extension we put on here put a little weld across there so I don't loosen up I just tighten it up I want to lift the back I gotta do something with the exhaust this old exhaust when I did the lift kit it's now just flopping around I'm just gonna take it off we'll do something different exhaust steering lift kit in the back I guess that's all for now for this video And that was quick and easy. On to the next step, I guess taking the exhaust off. Exhaust is out. Maybe next time we can do a stack. We'll see. And now on to the rear lift kit. Starting out with, what's that, a quarter inch clearance? Gotta get that up a little bit. So I guess you could say the front is a suspension lift and the back is a body lift. I got a two inch spacer in there. And that gives us a whole lot of clearance on our tires. We could put, these are 22s. 25 should fit easily if you can find 25s that go on an 8 inch wheel. You may have to find some way to put 12 inch wheels on. This is what we're using for our 2 inch blocks. And the only thing I did was take two bolts that hold down the rear fenders. We could go half inch, inch, 2 inch. We could go as high as we want to go. How high do you think I should go? Here? Well, for now, we're just going to do two inches. Quick and easy. So with the back fenders all lifted up, you can look in there, you can see my custom shifter. That's out of an S10, an 88 S10. That was a five-speed shifter. That's one of my favorite modification videos. I'll leave you a card for that right now. And if you look, there is the three-inch pulley. I'll leave you a card for the three-inch pulley swap also right now. So I'm getting my lift kit. I've got it cut. I'm trying to line up the bolt holes. And I think for now, I'll just leave it silver. If you think I should paint it yellow, let me know. Or if you think it may be flat black, let me know that too. Leave me a comment. So I just made up this bracket. We cut it off. I drilled this hole, this hole, out of all of these holes. None of them worked. I had to drill four holes. This one, this one. Then I cut out these little tabs. That's where the wrench can get to the bolt head. And I've got these bolts. These are left over from the front end lift kit. I didn't use them, so we're going to use them back here. And then it goes in place just like that. We'll use the factory bolt in this hole. And then the seat lowers down. This bracket goes down into that hole. I'll tighten it up and show you what we got. Oh, and this, we might could use this for a front bumper either on the Craftsman or maybe on the Deer. It's good and strong and it's got plenty of holes for lights. Just thinking out loud. It's getting dark, but I think you can see it just fine. That's the factory bolt. Here's the lift kit. There's the bolt holding the fenders down. If we look through the tunnel, the other end is bolted on also. Then if we look down here on the ground, that bumper has sprung a light. On the other side, maybe uh, John Deere green. That might just happen. Or if we're going to put on the kernel, Italian satin olive. So there's the profile shot with the lift kit installed. I'm going to go take it for a ride now. So 
So I'm here with the John Deere and I took off the bent wheel. This is the bent wheel. And I'm going to put the new wheel in. But first, I want to put another valve stem in this one. There's one on one side. I want to do one on the other side so that when I do dualies, I can air up the wheel from the inside. So I think I'll take out this valve stem, see what size it was originally, drill a hole in the new wheel, and then we'll have dual valve stems for the dual wheels. And then if we make that hole bigger, we could use this on the wheel winch. It's a little warp, but who cares on the wheel winch? That could go in front of the Poulon. In the original size, you go up to the third from last level on the unibit, and we'll be good to go. So up next, we're going to drill a hole right here. So I just drilled a little pilot hole. Now we're going to make it a little bit bigger pilot hole. Now we'll go a step bigger. Now the wheel has been touched up where we drilled the hole. The hole is now ready for the valve stem. As soon as the paint dries, we'll put in the valve stem. We'll put the tire on. Then we'll put it on the back of the Poulon. Start this dually process. And here is popping in the new valve stem. That is done. So the tire is back on the wheel. This is the inside valve stem. This is the outside with valve stem. The only thing left to do would be put some air in it. And if you want to test the other valve stem, double stems. Once the duals are back on, this is the one we'll be using. So I just popped the other rear wheel off the John Deere. It's probably going to want a fresh coat of paint. And the adapter is John Deere yellow. It can't be John Deere yellow on a Poulon. So now the Deere has the Deere wheels back on it with the Dirt Devils. And the Poulon has its tractor tires with matching wheels on. Only dilemma is we put a lift kit on them, we put shorter tires. Hmm. But to go dual, that's what we got to do. And so about two days ago, we started with a quarter inch of lift. Now we're up to about three and a half inches of lift with the lift kit and the change of tires. I said the boys are building me a bridge. Maybe that leads to the fort. I don't think I'm gonna drive the mower over it though. 